Hello and welcome back to She Glam. My name is Davina, I'm a creative artist, and today we'll be doing a tutorial inspired by She Glam's newly released Crimson Butterfly Collection. I'll be introducing the entire collection to you that comes in this hauntingly gorgeous packaging inspired by butterflies and deep, beautiful fall reds. In this collection, you've got eight beautiful makeup products to play with. It also comes with temporary butterfly tattoos. First, you have Phantom's Kiss, which is a six shade gloss palette to custom mix your own shade, create an ombre lip, or to use by itself to add moisture, shine, tints, and deep washes of reds. Spirited is a clear gloss with some pink iridescence. Moth, a peachy pink gloss that would suit any lip for a peachy tint. Cicada, to add more depth to a fun dark night out. Then we get deeper into the shades Larva, Denaid, and Alula. There are so many ways you can mix your own unique colors with so many variations. The features of this palette allows you to wear the glosses by itself that adds just the glow, the shine, and the moisture, but you can really customize it with so many shades of pinks and reds. You can mix two colors like I do here that already gives so many options for your mood. You simply scoop how little or how much you want from the palette and mix away. You control how sheer or how vibrant you want the shade to be. When blended out with your finger or a brush, or just blotting your lips a few times, there's lovely tints and whispers of colors where you can control the opacity of any shade. Each time you mix the colors, it comes out different. To begin, I'm applying Gloss Moth to moisturize and prep my lips. Next, we have one of the coolest products from this collection, the Bloodline Color Changing Blush. It appears black, but it reacts to your skin and turns pink. You can apply this to your cheeks and your lips with just your fingers. This is the swatch to show how pigmented you can go. It's such a unique, lovely shade, custom for you. And it's really long lasting, even if it rubs off just like this, where there is nothing left, it will still leave a tint on your cheeks and your lips. You can be so natural with this, where it adds just a beautiful glow and tint on your skin like this first swatch. There's just glow and luminosity. Then second swatch, you can start to see more pigment still retaining that beautiful glow. And the more you add, the more it reacts and leaves a flush of pink. It's so pretty and it's so cool that it's a custom shade. Simply swirl your finger around the pan and gently tap to apply onto the apples of your cheeks or your lips. You can use your finger, makeup sponge, or a brush. It's very, very easy to blend and melt into the skin and it's so fun seeing the custom pink appear. I love the glow it gives and the freedom on how much you can layer the blush without it ever being blotchy. Next is the Cursed Chrysalis palette inspired by Passing Spirits. It's a moody theme with a unique vegan formula that delivers high pigment and blends seamlessly with one another. There are five mattes and four shimmers. Look at how reflective the first shade is. It's stunning and all the pigments are so creamy. Fluffy blending brush. I'm taking this really pretty muted shade going back and forth circular motions, blending that all the way up to the brow. The shade Host, a super pigmented bright red, packing that onto my lid and blending lightly with a medium blending brush. Now for this really creamy dark red vein, repeating the same step, grab a little at a time to layer. Into Tombstone, a medium dark gray, adding that just up until it hits the crease, packing that shade and layering on once again. The shade Abyss, black shade to deepen and add some haunting depth to the eye look. For the bottom lash line, we're using the exact same shades with a small blending brush and keeping tight against that lower lash line. The muted shade layered with the bright red, deep red, gray, and black. I'm applying all of that just past my pupil. Using Moonlight, a beautiful white shimmer, I'm tapping that just in the inner corner and using my finger to tap to diffuse that glitter across the lid. Use black liner to line the bottom and upper waterline, then blend once again with Abyss just to darken and define the eyes. I realized I wanted to try this gunmetal shade called Relic, so I'm using my finger to pack that onto the grays and the blacks on my lid. This is a really pretty ombre blush and highlighter called Monarch Wings. The packaging is so charming with the pop-up crimson butterflies, and the product itself is layerable, so soft and creamy. The highlighter side is mesmerizing. Look at how it catches the light and illuminates. I'd love to use this to add that ethereal glow to any makeup look and to also use it on the high points of the face. Mixing the two together, you have this beautiful blush highlighter mix that gives the cheeks a soft satin glow. The more you mix, the more pigmented it gets, 
but it stays not patchy at all. And for the blush side, I adore this shade. The way it layers, it can be so natural or extremely pigmented. You can tell here that it's very smooth, buttery, and it has a beautiful sheen on its own. Taking the highlight side and sweeping it onto the nose tip, just a touch can add immediate glow. Crystal Flutter Glitter Gel. This offers some super packed glitter that's one of the easiest gels to apply to any look. High pigment, high glitter, but very smooth and comfortable to use. I'll be using the shade in Star for the butterflies, and the collection also has this beautiful bright red called Cocoon, and this reflective white called Mimic. Dipping into Instar with any liner brush, dot your design for the butterfly. This is where you just map your design so that's easier to line. Start from the top, then move to the bottom. And now just simply connect the dots and line. Again, this flutter gel is so incredibly easy to work with. Just connect the dots, dip back into the glitter, and let it glide. And slowly just collect more, reline until you get the desired depth. You can really pack on the glitter. I like to keep the outline thick and pigmented so that it pops out more. The more you reline with the glitter, the more defined and detailed it gets. Inside the wings, just simply draw some stretched O's and let the lines glide to the outer corner of your eye. Then like the outside, just reline, add pigment wherever you want. For the bottom, do the exact same thing with however you want the design to look. Onyx Kaleidoscope Lipstick, a super matte black, creamy, gothic inspired lipstick for your darkest dreams. I love the design on the lipstick. It's embossed with gothic lettering all over and I could not stop looking at it. First swatch is truly very black and buttery. Take just the tip of that lipstick and line the upper and the lower lips with first a light hand, then go over it again to add pigment when you're sure of the placement. I love makeup like this where you can control the pigment and where it's very layerable. I am digging just the lip outline with all that black lipstick but really wanted to go for a ombre bled lip. I'm taking a q-tip and blending that black liner and blending that slightly inwards. Then going back with Phantom's Kiss, the shade Danade, and using its applicator to apply that deep red gloss for a vampy lip. Finally, realigning for more black pigment. And we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit subscribe and turn on notifications for more creative She Glam makeup.